back on the Sports Match Zone, talking some track and field because we've got Dennis Gorney here. He's the J3A's media liaison officer, and he was in Budapest for the outstanding performances by the Jamaican team uh, there. And uh, there were some disappointments, um, broad bell falling in, in the hurdles um, among the, the, the big disappointments because he was one of the, the race favorites. But of course, Dennis, there were um, on the other side of the coin, some surprisingly impressive performances. Danielle Williams reclaiming her sprint hurdles world title that she had won in 2015. And Antonia Watson with a 400 meter win that many people did not expect. Um, what's your overall assessment of the Jamaican performance in Budapest? It is our second greatest performance at that level. Yeah. But we, with a little luck, we would have been far ahead. We are third in the medal scenario, but we are second in terms of medal one. Spain... And points. And points. Yeah. Spain got four medals, but they got four goals. Mm -hmm. So they would have been ahead of us mm -hmm. based on quality. Mm -hmm. But for me, the, the low and the high. So let me start with the low. I thought when Jaden went down, it was a, a great disappointment and the, the team... The, he was reacted. a triple jump favorite. Yeah, oh, yeah. He, he, he was favored to win. Uh, Brad Bell early in, in, in the men, 110. And of course, we were expecting a medal from the triple jump women as well. But the, <laughs> everything we do, we should put God first. There was a prior meeting, and the athletes, Latoya Gould and Kimberly Williams, uh, prayed for Daniel. Right? And I was there ending up crying because it was so emotional. And I said to her, you need to get back into that zone of 2015. So we expected her to perform, but honestly, we didn't expect her to win gold. We, we had her for a medal. But in lane two, she just ran the rest of her life, similarly to, to 2015, mm -hmm. when nobody expected her. And so that gave the camp a lift. Honestly, I was not surprised with Watson. I, I was at the training. I saw the coach clock him, right? And Coach Mills is not one who is very emotional. But the, the reaction after that clocking, when he came to us, I said, Coach, you are pleased with it. And he said, he has never run 38 seconds in training at all. This was 300 runs. 350. 350. 350. 350. And so he was cautiously optimistic that he would have medal, but he ran the rest of his life. Similar to Bert, because he said to coach that when he, when he got to 300, he felt something and he was going to stop. For real? Yeah, he said he was going to stop, but he just went on. And that closing 15 meters was a determined factor in getting that gold medal. Let's talk a little bit about Rashawn Clark, because yes. 1993, Winthrop Graham set a national record of 47.60, and that record has stood for 30 years. Here comes a little young man, 19 years old, 47.85 at the national championships, equaling the world under 20 record. He goes to Budapest and then blows it out of the water, 47.34, brand new national record, world under 20 record, and makes him the fastest Jamaican in history. What was the reaction from the coaching staff when he delivered, I mean, yeah, he didn't middle, middle in the final, but I don't think realistically would expect him to come back with a different performance given what we saw from um, the likes of um, Varsten, Carson Varholm and, of course, Karen McMaster, and given the inexperience of, of Clark. But what was the reaction like when he, when he finally took down Winthrop's record? So let me start by saying he's a camper old man. <laughs> Why did I think that was coming? It was right. coming. No, but... <laughs> He believes that he has, he's as good as any. He has that level of confidence. He believes in his coach. And watching him in training, I can say now on national TV that he was not 100% going into the final. Really? He went to the final with some nickels. Whoa. It was pure heart and, and technique. And with a little luck, he could have medal. But I'm saying this. Right? And when you look back at this interview, many, many years to come, he's capable of running 46. Oh, we've seen it. Right, he's capable of running 46. 
My only fear is how he's managed. I personally would not have gone to the circuit. Yes. Because we knew that he had needle injuries. But the anglers believe it is best for him to go. His performance really gave the team a lift after the Jaden situation. Yeah. And he inspired that four by one team. Really, everybody said, yes, we are ready to go because of that run. He was placed on the four by four. And again, we appeal because he was. Not 100. No, not, on, not only that. He was blocked by the Polish runner. Yes. Mm -hmm. But the judges believe it was not sufficient to disqualify the Polish team, as was the case with the, with the mixed relay, right? When, when we went to, to lodge the protest, they accepted that the Polish runner, again on the female side, um, disturbed goal. Yes. And they, they deem it was not enough to, to, to do a disqualification. But what was alarming is that the Polish team, who, who actually blocked goal, was promoted to mm -hmm. the final yeah. by virtue of having to run over somebody who fell. So, if you ask me, the, 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 the judges and the appeal, they were inconsistent. And um, I leave it that is inconsistent. There are <laughs> members of the management team who feel stronger than that, but I leave it as just being inconsistent. There's another controversial, and I'll need to interrupt you, but there's another um, controversial decision as it relates to Akilia Smith in the, in the long jump, where visually on the TV, it looked like her, she was behind the board. But then I was like, talking to, court, to a technical director, Wilson, and he said that they showed them video evidence where her two or the teeth of her, the, or the spikes were actually over. Um, can you tell us a little bit about how that appeal unfolded? So, again, it's part of the inconsistency. She was allowed the additional three jumps. Now, if you are sure that she actually breached that line, then she should not have been allowed the traditional jump. What, what, what was disturbing for me is the fact that when we went to the video room, they refused to show the distance because that distance would have allowed her in the final. There was, there was so so, so, meters, so yes. they are saying, they are saying, all right, we, 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 we made a mistake, and against that error, we're going to give her a three additional jump, but you're going to disqualify that jump, which would have been a seven foot jump. Again, it comes back to the inconsistencies of how they adjudicate, wow. right? And for me, I'm just hoping that it does not leave a scar on her because psychologically, when you are prepared and you have done everything, and then the, 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 the room, the boardroom, in there you like that, it can have a lasting impact psychologically. I'm just hoping that she can get over it and move on. There's a quick follow-up question, because you know, there were medals expected from the, from the stars of the team, so to speak. But what was very encouraging for me was the fact that so many of our youngsters, Wayne Pinnock, Kiri McLeod, Akilia Smith, Jaden Hibbert, um, Rashid Broadbill, Rashawn Clark, it's a new wave of talent coming through. New gen. Uh, and, yeah, Kiri, new gen. Uh, from a broader perspective, not just the sprints, Dennis. You're a former member of the J3As. How encouraging is this from, from a Jamaican perspective? It, it, it is encouraging because one of the mandates of the God Deal um, administration is to advance the non-traditional event. And we're doing extremely well in, 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 the, in the throws and, and the jumps. What, what we would like to see is corporate Jamaica coming in and assisting the development. The, everybody wants to wait until the star is announced. But we are asking for support at the developmental level because we need to harness those talent Right, and there are a lot of it going around in this country. I think we're the only country in the world where we have 15 men running sub 10 and, 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 and schoolers running sub 11 on the female side. There are six or seven hurdlers that next year Charles is going to be off the chain. Off the chain right? <laughs> so, so I'm saying 
And we are talking the women, right? He, and, but, and the men's men, men, the men's men as well. relay uh, as well. is also developing a yeah. cluster of really fast men as well. Well, if you, if you notice, there are nine sub-10 runners this year. Mm -hmm. Nine. Mm -hmm. And the U.S., the U.S., which is our, our target, they are getting older. Outside of Lyles, they are getting older. We are much younger, right? And once we can continue on that development, that path, we should again control sprinting and dominate sprinting for a long time. And the female side, we're going to be dominating sprinting. Yes, we, we felt going in that Shakari would, would medal. As a matter of fact, friendly bit in the, in, the, in the room, we felt that she would have won given her own performance and consistency over time, mm -hmm. knowing that Shelly wasn't 100%. Mm -hmm. right? So again, we are expecting that we will take our rightful place back in the sprint. We are now a force to be reckoned with in the jumps and the throws. And that argues well for Jamaica track. Yeah. And just talk to us briefly about the heat in Budapest, because it did appear as if the extremely high temperatures uh, caused a lot of of consternation for a lot of people, not only not only the athletes who had to endure it, you know, with, with, with their load that they had, but it was very hot. Was there anything special that the Jamaica camp did to hydration? We ensure that we were stocked up with hydration and we ensure that the athletes at all times were given the accommodation of air conditioning where possible. Yeah. The, the, the drive from the hotel to the stadium was a little long. 40 minutes, you said? Yes, a really little long. And, mm -hmm. and the buses, the way they, the, the way they were shuttled. appointed and shuttled, yes. there's no straight shuttle from the hotel to the stadium. So you shuttle from one hotel to another, picked up, and then go to the stadium. Mm -hmm. So the traveling was a little bit challenging. And when you get to... The, the stadium to, to join the queue to get in was also a challenge at that time. Even for athletes? Even for the athletes. Wow. But, and um, as a matter of fact, we went there to go to the TCI and Maurice could not enter because he forgot his um, accreditation. So we had to turn back, went to the hotel, collect the accreditation and come back. But what I want to say, we should always give the athletes the benefit of the doubt what they have gone through and continue to go through to win a medal for this country is unbelievable. Mm. They, they suffer ache, they suffer pain. Some of them suffer indignity of people saying nasty things about them. We just need to cool the temperature Absolutely. and manage expectation. Mm. Lance and Leighton, I can say now that I'm expecting that come next year Olympic year, we're going to be mining medals in unconventional areas, right? I can tell you that I am looking for medal now at the high jump. This thing has reached the stage where she can now go on a medal. She was a little bit unfortunate. She, she ended up fifth on the, on the count back. But at one time she was in silver position mm -hmm. and the two Australian cleared and the Ukrainian. So again, the non-traditional events we are doing extremely well. We continue to turn out the sprinters. And if you look at Adele Tracy, she, for me, without being medal, was the star. Outstanding. She ran her PB every time, both in the 15 and the 4. And the 8. And, and the 8. eight. Yeah, right. And she, she made the final of, 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 of the 8. Yeah. And missed the, 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 the final of the 15. As a matter of fact, she ran faster that in her semi-final than the entire field. In, a, in the first seat. In the first seat. Yes. Right? So she missed it by fractions of seconds. Andrew Hudson had some glass in his eye from that collision and everything. How is he now? He's okay. And um, credit to our medical staff, right? The, 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 the heat was put back and the, you know, Dr. Blake was able to administer treatment to him, remove the, the glasses from his eyes. We felt that he shouldn't run, but he wanted to run, and the rest is history. Mm, but I, I also believe that the time has come where we should now take a psychologist on this trip. I've been saying it, 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 it is critical, and what I saw, mm -hmm. I believe it, it is now 
a mandatory that we should take mm. a psychologist and two doctors. Mm. All right, we're going to wrap now. And we, we started off this discussion, Dennis, by talking about the controversies and, and the Taekwondo Tracy issue and so on. Um, but no less a person than Glenn Mills, whose acumen as a track and field expert is beyond dispute. He suggested in an interview, I think on TV, J.I. saw him, that the selection process for the J3As needs to be a little bit more definitive and um, not give cause to ambiguity and um, the, kind of, the kind of conflict that arose. He feels that there are things that the J3As can set out that would reduce the possibility of uh, the Taekwondo Tracy outburst. And as I said, this is coming from Glenn Mills. This is not, this is not a social media person or just, just, just blurting things out emotionally. So is, is there any merit to what Glenn Mills is saying about the J3As and its policy that it has in place re-selections for these relay pools? Well, who am I to question Coach Mills? You, you, really won't, be, you won't because he's a <laughs> yes, big, right. big camper down no, connection. No, no, not just that, but <laughs> he has been a technical leader for a very long time. Yes. And he's one of the consultants. And I also believe that we need to tweak the wording. The wording? Yes, of the selection criteria. Yes. The wording of the selection criteria <clears throat> lends itself to interpretation. That's right. So I would love to see it a little bit more tight where it reduces interpretation. Mm -hmm. Where there is discretion, there will be chaos. Yes. Right? And where chaos reigns, somebody yes. benefits. Teddy McCook had said that right. for many years. So yes. I yes. believe yes. I'm supporting the call by Coach Mills that the J3 should really look at the wording of the selection criteria and to make it much tighter so it removes discretion. Mm -hmm. right? And then you will sort of eradicate, if not eliminate, that outburst vis-a-vis -a, -vis a Taekwondo jersey. Then it's really a pleasure having you here on the Sportsmax Zone and great that you were able to put some clarity to, to some of the issues that have caused huge controversy um, with respect to Taekwondo Tracy and a couple of other issues coming out of the World Championships. Um, that's our track and feed segment here on the Sportsmax Zone. We'll be back with more on the show after this. <laughs>